Yes team, it's Courtney here and welcome to this 20 minute intermediate dumbbell workout. I've got some light and some medium dumbbells with me. Make sure you're nice and warm because we are going to get straight into it. So we're starting off with an AMRAP, which means as many rounds as possible, but you're doing it for quality. So we're slowing it down and it's all about control. Grab your dumbbells. Exercise number one is your deadlift high pull. We're going to start in five seconds. I'll do it with you in three, two, one. We hinge from the hip. We draw dumbbells up towards the chest. We've got six of these. So if you're with me, that's two. Inhale to drop, exhale to drive up. Nice, going at your own pace. As soon as you've done these six, it's your squat. So we front rack the dumbbells onto our shoulders, elbows in, it's six squats. Inhale, drop down, exhale, drive up. Nice, one, two. So notice that I'm not rushing through these reps. Just taking your time. Once you have done those six, you might want to switch your weight. We are going into our plank. And here it's your renegade row. So you're in your plank position. We row dumbbell into body. Control back down to the floor. You have the option to also be on your knees here if you need. We're going for six in total. And then we stand it up. We grab those dumbbells again onto the shoulder. Option to go light or heavy and it's your reverse lunge. So we step it back, back knee one inch off the floor, control, and then drive off that back foot. Six in total. Nice work team, as soon as you've done those six, you're back to the start, deadlifts, high pull, let's go. We hinge, squeeze the bum, elbows come wide, Dumbbells up towards the chest. Strong. So you want to make sure these dumbbells are challenging you. And now we take it into that squat. You also have the option here to go goblet like this. Dumbbell on chest. Inhale to drop. Exhale. As you press through those heels, always keeping that chest up. Nice. Renegade row coming in. So again, option to grab that light dumbbell. But this time, if it, you're still finding it a little challenging, you can move your dumbbells to the side and just tap your body here as well. So loads of options to help you through this first round. Eight minutes on the clock, and we are officially two minutes down. Nice job, crew. Think about keeping those shoulders back in that lunge. So you're going to feel that heart rate start to come up. But we should always be controlling our breathing and staying in control. Because it's an AMRAP, you can take rest breaks when you need. But remember, you've got that clock ticking away. So we want to keep that momentum going. Coming up to that halfway point through this one. Really strong start to today's class. In that squat, let's go. So make sure those knees, hips and ankles are all in line. Finding that quality in those reps at all times. Oh, you can lose a dumbbell. If it's getting challenging, as long as we keep on pushing forward, working lower body and core here. Nice work. Okay, we are officially at that halfway. Ask yourself, are you pushing yourself out of your comfort zone? If not, can you find an extra 1% to push a little harder? You are doing great team, approaching those last two minutes. If you're in that goblet squat with me, we bring that dumbbell to the chest. Make sure it's always touching. 
Come down as low as you can. If you're struggling to find that depth, think about sitting into a chair and then standing up nice and strong. Yeah, team. Two minutes only. Let's get it done. Yes, renegade row. Remember, the option to be down on your knees is always there. But you want to make sure your head, your shoulders, your hips and your knees are all in line. Slow it down. No need to rush. Good. Okay. Back to that lunge drive. You can also do your lunge drive with that goblet hold as well. If you're starting to get tired here and you need to lose a dumbbell. Last minute is coming. Less than 90 seconds on the clock. Super strong start here. Stay with it. Yes. Deadlift, we are back in. Elbows come up, big pull. Crushing it. 60 seconds only. Ah, come on. Stay with it. Into that squat. Option to front rack here or go goblet. However you want to challenge yourself. Maintaining that form. Yes. So, so close to finishing this first block. So checking in with your body. Do you need to slow it down a little bit? Do you feel like you're rushing through those reps? If so, there's always time to make a change. 30 seconds only team, and we are moving on. Yes. Final few reps. Let's get it in. 15 seconds, come on. No time to waste. That recovery is coming in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop your dumbbells, shake it out so strong. Amazing start to today's class. That was an eight minute block, absolutely blitzed through it. So take a moment here to breathe and reset. You're gonna put your dumbbells to the side because you do not need them for this next block. We are going all body weight. Think high intensity, heart rate is coming right up. We're giving maximum energy. We work for 40 seconds, recover for 20 seconds. And the good news is we only do each exercise once. So you give it your all and then we move on. Exercise number one, we're gonna start at the back of your mat or your space. We shuffle forward, you touch the floor, we then shuffle back. So you go at your own pace, landing on the balls of the feet, doing nice little steps, stay light. Team, 10 seconds we're in. Set that focus, commit to working hard from now. Whew. And in five, we are in. Six minute block coming up. In three, two, one, let's go. Shuffle forward, touch the floor, shuffle back. Option to get rid of that shuffle if you need. So you can just be here, but if you can challenge yourself, get down. Yes. Halfway through already, how quickly can you change direction? Only using your body weight here. Yes, 10 seconds. Oh, this is really gonna make you push. In five, four, three, two, one. Take a breath, take a second. 20 seconds of breathe. So, so good. Next up, we are going into our lateral lunge. We step to the side, you bend through the knee. We then drive that knee up, and I will tell you when to switch sides. 20 seconds per side. We get started in five. Team, let's go for it. In three, two, one, we are in. Step wide in that lateral lunge and then drive that knee up. Notice I've got my other arm up to support me. You have the option 
So stay here. If you need that regression, it's always there for you. Five seconds, we switch. Three, two, one. Straight into it, no time to waste. Let's go. Maximum intensity here. Loading up. Power through that heel. Yes. Loving it. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Your 20 second breather. Take those deep breaths. It's gonna go quickly. And next up, we're in that military plank. So in your plank position, elbows come down, then we drive up onto those hands. Option to be on those knees. Team, get ready for it. Core and shoulder burner. In three, two, one, let's do it. So you can alternate which hand pushes up or you can go on one side for 20 seconds and the other for 20 as well. We are halfway now. And remember, you can always be here on your knees. As long as your hips are forward, you're still gonna get that work through the shoulders. Yes, yeah, stay with it. So close. Eight seconds. Uh, come on team. Final five. Four, three, two, and one. Oh, incredible. Okay, we're standing it back up. This round just keeps on going. This time it's your A skip. We're jumping your right knee up. We jump to center and then we're back to our left. You're landing on the balls of the feet. We stay pushing. Five seconds. Are you ready? We dig deep in three, two, one. Let's go. Notice that I'm using my arms, opposite arm, opposite leg, as I power that knee up towards my chest. You also have the option to go for a march here as well, as long as you keep that momentum going. We are officially past that halfway, so keep that chin up. Tell yourself you're feeling good. You've got this one all the way. Yes, five, four, Three, two, and one. You've made it to your last two exercises. We are on fire. Next up, it's your bear crawl. You're starting in the back of your mat. We find a tabletop position. Knees one inch off the floor. You're crawling forward and crawling back. It's gonna work shoulders, core, and quads. Five seconds, we go for it. Do what you can. In three, two, and one. Let's get it, crew. So this one, we really slow it down and you're gonna feel it work those quads. Your goal is to not let your hips come up here. We stay low. If you do need to take a second, find your downward dog, take a deep breath and then get straight back into it. Team, how are we feeling? Only 10 seconds, keep those hips low. Imagine you're trying to fit under a really small, a really low ceiling. You cannot let those hips come up. Five, four, three, two, oh, one. Last exercise of this block is your pop squat. We get wide with the feet, we squat down, we touch the floor. You jump back through center, we repeat on the other side. You've still got another five seconds. Catch your breath, get ready to push. Oh, let's do it team. We are in, 40 seconds. Squat down, jump up. Go in at your own pace. Working to your max. You also have the option here to step wide, to step in. So you can get rid of that high impact if you need to. We're well over halfway, it's 10 seconds until that nice long recovery. Every second counts, come on. In five, four, three, two, one, yes. Incredible, six minute block, blitzed through that one. Pull your shoulders back, turn your attention to your breathing. Close your eyes if you need, just take a moment. We are heading 
into our third and final block. You're gonna knead those dumbbells again. So if you put them to the side, grab them back out now, and we're heading into an ascending ladder. You're gonna have four minutes on the clock to get through this one. We only have three exercises, and we start with two reps of everything. We then go four, six, eight, and your challenge of the day is to get as high up the reps as you can. Exercise number one is your plank drag through. So you're in your plank position, and we're gonna drag the dumbbell from the inside to the outside of the body. Once you've done two reps, we stand it up, and it is your swing. We hinge on the hip, thrust the hips forward for two reps. It's then your row. We hinge, and we row dumbbells into body before you go back down for four and all the way up. Okay team, that was plenty of recovery. You should be raring to go for this final block. Take your last deep breath. We are going plank drive through in three, two, and one. Let's get it. One, two. Jump it in. Two swings, hinge, drive. Yes, slow it down. Two rows, one, two. This time, four, one, two, three, and four. We jump it up to those swings. Four, let's get it. Into four rows. So you are gonna to start to find your own rhythm, your own pace. Feel free to push ahead of me. Feel free to hold back. Whatever is smart for you, whatever is gonna get you to that finish line. Now we're on those six reps. So count them in and go at your own pace. Hinge, thrust. This is your last block of work, so we don't need to hold any energy back. This is where you let it go. Commit to working your hardest. Do your best. Yes, eight reps, who's with me? Remember you can be on your knees here, just like we were before. Using that core strength here, jump it in. One exercise after the other. We just keep that momentum going. Into that row, come on. Shoulders back, core strong. Nice sweaty finisher. Remember you are against the clock on this one. Once you've done six, you're then on to eight. We then go on to 10. You get as high up as you can. We officially have two minutes left. Set a target that you wanna try and beat by the end of this one. My goal is to get onto 12 reps. Choose a number that you wanna hit and hold yourself accountable. Only you can get you to that line, so let's do it. Using that breath, control it. Who's with me here on 10 reps? We are so close, one minute only. Everything you've got now. This is where it gets tough, but all you need to do is stay pushing forward to give your max to get yourself across that line and to take the win. Yes. Are we gonna make it? This is your sprint finish, come on. Nice. Dig deep. Come on, I know you're working hard. Last 10 seconds. We made it onto that 12. If you're with me, stay strong. 
Last five. All the way through. Four, three, two, and one. Team, you are done. Fantastic work. Really well done for showing up, for pressing play, for digging deep, and to getting through that ladder. Really strong effort. I already can't wait to see you next time. Well done.